Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make these curved blades on a windmill. So we can see the profile shifts along the extrude or um, we could have done a sweep but we've chosen to go with a loft between closed profiles as well as a loft on a surface and then we do a thicken. So follow along and see how you go. So we've got this really basic uh, sort of tower that I'm using for a windmill. Um, we just really want to see how to draw these blades. So I'm going to create a sketch on the right hand plane over here. And I'm going to go slice so that I can see into uh, where I'm working. I'm just going to push P and project this so I can dimension a few lines. Um, this, what I'm going to do now is just draw some construction lines so I can get my center point. and this up to there. Now I'm going to draw a three point arc. So three point arc, turn off construction and on this line as well I'll draw it. Not too worried about the positioning just yet. Um, then I'm going to dimension this point from that point. Let's make that uh, four and we'll do the same on the other side. So there we've got that line. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, offset that line. So we'll offset, select that line, and we'll go out, uh, make it two millimeters. And I'll draw a line between those to close off the profile. You can see here uh, we should have a closed profile now. If I finish sketch, and I just turn this body off, there we can see that profile is closed. Now what I want to do is do a construction plane offset from the right plane and this is going to be the distance of our blade. So just imagine the blade sticking out, how far is it going to go? Let's make it sort of there 135. So once we've got that in, we're going to create a sketch on that plane and I'm wanting to project these lines. I don't really need all of them. Um, this is just so that I've got a starting point for when I draw the larger curved one. So if we look now, my lines are on that new plane. What I really want is sort of this center line over here, because I'm going to pivot somewhere around there, but with a much larger arc. So we're going to go three point arc again and you could draw in some measurements to try and um, get this exact but I'm just gonna kind of wing it and try to get it roughly in the center there and again we'll use the offset tool and it was two millimeters so minus two and then we just close up the profile and finish sketch. So now we've got these two profiles there um, and we can go loft. So I choose loft. I want to select that profile. So let me just turn that body off so it's out the way and loft it to this profile but now it's giving me issues. So I'm just going to go back in here. This, These lines that we projected just to sort of visualize where we're going to put the new one. It's going to get rid of those. So you can see we're getting some funny shapes there. And then again, we're going to loft. I'll turn off this body and loft between the two. If I turn this body back on, you can see we've got that curved blade. Now we could have made this a bit further. So what you can actually do is just drag this out. So let's make that 200. You can see how it's lengthened that blade and I think this loft was probably a joint operation now we've got our separate body there that's great so then we'll go create pattern circular pattern the object will be this body the axis will be that circular axis and we can add in as many as we think will fit 
and OK. But you'll see here they're kind of overlapping a bit in the middle. That's not really an issue. If we really wanted to fix it, we could just make this center hub a bit bigger. In fact, let's do that. I'm not going to change the, we could go back in and change the dimension of this extrude, but I want to try something. So S for shortcut and fill it. No, not fill it. I want offset tool. So offset face. We'll select this face and we'll just drag it out of it. Now it's increased the size of that whole section over there. So that's a one way. Um, and then, I mean, if you wanted to, you could add in some, uh, some little fillets and things. So I've just gone back in the timeline there. So if you wanted to, you could go select the fillet tool and maybe fillet these edges a little bit. Not that one. This one there. So we just put a five millimeter on there. And just get your round edge. Now when we move up, it's applied it to all of them. So that's the first method, creating two closed profiles and doing a loft between them. I'm gonna go back in here now and just go back to before we did our loft and I'm going to right click here and delete all history. So now I'm just going to make sure these are on. We can go into these and just delete the parts we don't want. So slice. I'm going to delete this. You'll see why shortly. We're going to do some surface modeling on it. Once we got those deleted, now we're going to go into service mode over here and create a loft. So in service mode, you can create a loft between a flat profile. It doesn't have to be a closed profile. And you can see we've got that shape, that same shape. Only thing is it's got no thickness. So you can see over here, it uh, shows up as a body, but with that kind of wrap around look, that's just indicating that it has zero thickness. Um, so what we need to do is add a thickness to it. Just go back into solid and in our shortcuts, S for shortcut, we can just type in thicken. We'll select the profile and I want to thicken it in the other direction. So that'll be minus two. And that's essentially the same shape as we did with the loft between closed profiles. Now we can Go back and do our uh, uh, circular pattern tool again. So pattern circular, we'll select that and then we'll do the thicken or the offset again on the center circle. Don't know how many I had the first time, but there we go, about seven. And then S offset, offset face. We'll select this face and just drag it out. And then we can add some nice colors to it. Uh, right click and appearance. We'll make this stainless steel. Stainless steel polished. So I like that. Apply it to there. I'll apply it to the center. Basically looks the same. So let's go with something else. Um, I know the anodized colors are quite nice. Doesn't have to be realistic looking just have to have some color and then you can either drop it one by one on these or you can hold control and select multiple then you drop it across and that's only applied it to the surface so let's undo that and go back into our appearance menu and then we'll go back to the anodized glossy red and now I'll drop it over the whole body. So it should be on the whole body now. There we go. I was previously just selecting the surface. And once we've got it, there we're done. And we've got our um, windmill. It's not the greatest windmill, but the idea is just to show you how to get that curved fan blade or that curved profile on the blade. You could, of course, make this a lot um, steeper. This turns so if I had to go in here and just 
adjust the positioning of my arc. That would update and we'd have something that looks like that. But that's a bit much. So let me just undo that. And there we go. Let's turn off our sketches. Nope, sketches. We can have a look at our windmill. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Uh, you can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. That email address is in the description. Until next time, bye.